Well, it's uh, Friday. I don't even know. One o'clock, maybe. Mumbles man went to the land of Nader. It's early this morning for low tide. He got some clad. He said it was slow down there. I had some restaurant knives I picked up yesterday afternoon. I picked these up one day. I let them a few knives and I pick them up. Then I take them back to them the next day. I think there's nine here. All different kind of assorted restaurant knives. When I delivered the globals to the guy this morning, I got a phone call from a guy. I said, I got some knives I need to sharpen. I said, okay. Well, he's got uh, three hinkles. No, four hinkles. This is a, this might be an international hinkle. It is, hinkle international. And this one is a Chicago cutlery, like a boner knife. I've got them, I got all the nicks and stuff out of the blades of them. So that's seven. And then the lady just dropped off these babies. There's all kinds of stuff in there. We'll get to that in a few minutes. All of these knives came in a tackle box. Uh, no, it's a Craftsman toolbox. <laughs> I get them in all kinds of things. That's the first time I ever got them in a toolbox. Let's get into this bag and see what's in that bag now. Guga Mooga. Looks like she's been thrift store shopping. I don't know though. She got those two pair of those kind of scissors. One pair of those, one pair of little nipper scissors, some old household industrial type scissors that need cleaning up, and these are her kitchen scissors. I've done five or six pair of scissors with this lady before. It looks like she's bought a set of steak knives at a thrift market. It's a set of five for 20 bucks. Antique horn handle knives. Fine quality. See if I can read the next one any better. That was worse. Standard something forged. Mm. They kind of look like carver halls to me, but. I can't see Carver Hall on them anywhere. I'll have to get back to you on that part. Got little serrations at the front. I didn't see that till just then. Three Swiss Army knives. Okay, we're busy today. I'll see you. Well, it's 5:18. I'm finished. Steak knives. Victor, I mean, uh, you know what I'm talking about. These weird scissors. The big old scissors. The little ones. The even smaller ones. And the kitchen scissors. And the Victor Knox Forester is done. The International Pear is done. Chicago Cutlery Boner is done. Tomato Knife. Hankel, 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 Hankel. All done. We're cooking hamburgers on the grill in about an hour. My son's coming over. Next door neighbor's coming over. It's going to be a good afternoon. But it's still blazing hot in the high 90s. Man, it's been so hot I can't believe it the last three days. All right, let me put some sleeves on these bad boys and I'll uh, get back to you in a little while. Just a minute or so more. Just a week or so more.
and I cut all the uh, lower limbs off this this winter so I can mow around it better so everything is going to be up high this year I don't know if that's good or bad I guess we'll see but it looks good to me I can't wait <laughs> my favorite delight look at them babies the boys have played ball it's so hot they're ready to go in matter of fact they're already in Circus Train Jack and the Indian is inside I would have paid you with a personal check yeah. tongue hanging out so now, now when uh, I would do something I would say yes. cut me up front if you don't have it because I'll tired Jack. Mm -hmm. and, and 